In today's video, my buddy Alfred is gonna destroy this barn. Now you're probably looking at all of this and saying, wait a minute, why the heck did you demolish that building? It seemed like it was a perfectly reasonable shed barn. What would make you want to destroy it in such a ruthless fashion? Well, this requires a little bit of an explanation. When we bought our property back in 2016, there were two barn buildings on it. Our big old dairy barn, which I'll talk a little bit more about in a minute, and this smaller barn. This smaller barn and shed has had a lot of history. At one point, way, way back when, this building was actually used as a garage for Model Ts. Just goes to show you how old it is. The people who owned the farm before us actually used to run a little farm store out of it. And ever since we bought the place, we've just used it as storage for various things like patio furniture, and gardening supplies and that sort of thing. But the problem is the building is old and it's starting to fail and it needs some investment into it if I were to keep it up and standing. Yet that said, this barn is not nearly the barn structure that I need for our modern farm. You know, one of the biggest dilemmas we have is the barns that were built for our farm and that were pre-existing on our farm are not the ideal structures for the type of farming that we do. Number one, we're mostly a poultry farm, and so that requires predator-proof housing for poultry, especially efficient housing for waterfowl and stuff that's easy to clean and easy to move equipment in and out of. And then number two, our cattle, we don't raise for dairy, we raise them for beef, and so we don't necessarily need things like the milking parlor that I'm standing in right now. While this thing is really cool, and they used to house about 20 to 25 cattle up here on the second floor, it's completely impractical for our farm. You know, I've been saying this for quite some time that I've been wanting to build a modern equipment barn. You know, a structure where I can house our vehicles out of the snow, something where I can house our tractor. You know, despite how big this building is, I can barely fit our tractor into one small section of the barn. This barn was built in like 1890, and so the dimensions are very 1890 friendly, not really thinking about the dimensions of a modern mid-sized tractor like the one that we have. That guy in a little coat. And so this new barn building has been something I've been dreaming about for a couple of years now. You know, I actually had as part of our farm plan in 2021, that we were gonna build it, but I got scared off from high lumber prices, which in retrospect maybe wasn't the best possible business decision. That's so stupid. And when I look around our farmstead for the perfect possible place to house this new barn, the spot where this little barn is standing, unfortunately is the perfect spot. And when I'm confronted with the decision of investing several thousand dollars to reshore up this little building so that it doesn't collapse by itself, or just take that money and invest it in the barn building that I wanna build. It was kind of a no-brainer to say, let me put the money into this new barn, which is why right now you're watching my buddy Alfred tear down the barn and start to clean it up. It's kind of crazy to look at this from an aerial view. I mean, our farm is looking very different right now, just after about four hours worth of work yesterday. We still have a couple days worth of cleanup work to do here, but luckily I got the help of my buddy Alfred. My buddy Alfred, he lives on down the road. He's a wizard with machines, a genius in blue jeans. Let's stop and say hello. You guys remember my buddy Alfred, right? Well, Alfred is helping me with this phase of the project. Obviously, what we did yesterday was we 
leveled this and then threw out some of the wood. Actually, a lot of the floorboards that you see here are good wood, and so we're gonna take some time to pull some of that up and save it. But the reality is most of the wood here for this old barn was rotted or starting to rot and just isn't of good use for any future building projects. Of course, I might wanna steal this very cool lightning rod I see here. They just don't make them like that anymore. Now, what's this new barn gonna look like? Well, I would love to tell you about it. Hey, Mr. Toby Dog, how's it going, buddy? And how's my Abby Dabby do? How are you doing there, sweetie? I know, you're still looking like a flashlight. At least it's the softer one now. Abby was beating the heck out of her collar earlier. She shattered the old one into a million pieces. She still needs to wear it for a couple of days. I know you guys have a ton of questions about what's going on with her, and I can't quite talk about it all just yet, but she did not get fixed. She actually had a, a hernia surgery. Now, what does that mean for the future? Like I said, that's gonna be a future video. Rise and grind, geese! Release the Kraken! So yeah, the new barn is gonna be pretty darn cool. You know, we wanna make sure that the new structure we build on the farm kinda matches the current look and character of the existing buildings here, which is really just a fancy way of saying we want the house, our big barn, and the new barn to all kinda look the same. The plan is we wanna have enough space to house our cars, as well as house my tractor, as well as have the ability to house a variety of implements for the tractor. There's also gonna be a little bit of a space for a workshop, as well as an area for processing birds, and a few other surprises that I have cooked up. Now, the unfortunate news about the barn build is that this is not gonna get done quickly. This will take over the course of the year to get this done. The timber framer who I have lined up to help me with the build, I wasn't gonna entrust a project that important just to myself. He's actually not available until later this year. So what's gonna happen is you're gonna see us clear the site up, you're gonna see Alfred and I leveling it out, setting pillars so that we can build posts on it because the style of construction is gonna be what's known as post and beam. That means rather than having a foundation poured, which to do one here in Vermont that wouldn't crack is gonna be really, really expensive. What we're gonna do is actually just do a gravel floor, but then have concrete pillars that are set deep into the ground, and then we can build posts on top of those pillars, and that's what's gonna be the supporting structure for the barn. So this is gonna be one of those slow burn projects where we go from doing the demolition that you saw earlier in this video to actually having a finished, beautiful barn. And trust me, this thing is gonna be beautiful. So I am personally super excited about it. And speaking about excited, I'm very excited about our these too, they seem to be doing well. The colonies all went inside. You can see, you know, these were the containers that carried their frames. You actually look in here. I'll do a little quick sneak peek with you guys. I'm not sure if the microphone's gonna pick up the sound of the bees or just be heavy breathing, but you can hear them buzzing and thriving in there. It's cloudy and windy and snowing right now, so I don't think they're gonna wanna come outside. The other day, we actually had a couple inches of snow. <laughs> so we're definitely not out of the woods when it comes to winter. But just by looking at how the pasture's starting to turn green, I know spring is pretty much here. 